them 17 years, Smoke, how did you survive and keep your mind them 17 years, man? Uh, well, I could say the Bible. Mm-hmm. I started there. My grandmother gave me a piece of advice. I asked her, how could I, you know, I won't be wise, right? She yeah. said, go to Proverbs, keep reading Proverbs, keep reading Proverbs, keep reading. So I just explored into the other Bible. I explored all religions, just trying to understand. Mm-hmm. You know, Islam, it, it appeals more. So my thing of it is with this is that I had to get a religious base, yeah. right, of some sort. Then I got books. Mm-hmm. That's how I survived. I learned the power of words, bro. Yeah. You understand? I got me a dictionary, a rhyming dictionary, a thesaurus, and I got me a Bible. I got any book that was related to reality. Yeah, yeah. This is a message for anybody that's in that pen that can hear me. You see? We need y'all out here. Yeah. We need the black man back in the home. We need the discipline in the home. You know, all these strong black women, you know, you can't do it by yourself. It needs to be a collectivized effort. Come on, by all of us. If I die tomorrow, I'm here to see it today, yeah? Exactly. Okay. Super tight. Yeah. Working on that project, though, man, I mean, what were those times like with a young pimp and a young bun and a young smoke D? Man, um, I, bro, for me to try to catch memories, it was, we was just in the night. I wasn't even looking at it like that. But, I mean, we had the bud room. Shout out to Smitty. Shout out to all the original trio. You know, Bun B, the big dog. He the big dog. Y'all fall in line, man. Stop all the monkey show. Yeah. You know, so, yeah. Um, DJ Bird, man. I wasn't really working on no app. Pimp was the one working, bro. <laughs> we, <laughs> we was in there getting high, drinking, and, and, and rapping. <laughs> Pimp was the one working. Yeah. But when he did it, like, the man was so cold, bro. Like, okay, one day I pulled up at San Jack. And me, I come from Jackson, Mississippi. Yeah. It's still that way today. So, anyway, man, I got into it with dude. Dude put the gun right in my face like this. Pimp come out, put it down. Before he could say put it down, the dude had to, you know, so it was that kind of thing, man. We all knew he was, you know, what he was. Yeah. So, yeah, man. But that super tight back to DJ Bird, we was in, uh, we was in New Orleans somewhere. And this is a story, too. It, it, DJ Bird, when I went in there, Pimp, he had a way of not liking nothing and always surprising you. Mm. So I ain't know I was going to be on the song because that's just the way he do it. He puts you on edge. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He want to get all it. And so then we going to be on the song, you know, song, you know. So I'm in there. I'm trying. Put, I grab some stuff, put it together because they were teaching me how to write. I yeah. just, you know. And so I put something together. I thought it was cool. But when I went in, uh, dry. Went in a second time, uh, dry. Pimp said, hold up. DJ Bird said, let me take him out, take him out. DJ Bird took me outside. And I don't know what he did, but he pumped that juice into me, man. When I went back in there with that microphone, I was blowing snot <laughs> like a bull. I had got my gun, started coughing. <laughs> yeah, I'm, you know, he had put me in the mode. He know I didn't see me in when I'm in the street, right? Exactly. So, okay, that's what we going to do. And so I went in there and did it. And then, like, um, at the time, they had some, I don't know, some record company execs, some Italian, anyway, they were snorting cocaine. I know they was doing that. So when they came and approached me, Pimp snapped out. He snapped completely out, made them get away from me. At the time, I didn't know what he was doing. I never questioned it, but he was stopping me from getting in the situation that he was already in. Mm. Right? Yeah. And I respected him for that. He 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 explained to me to go get my publisher. Mm. You see? So I can have better negotiating power dealing with people. Right now, the front back is side to side. I do get a percentage off of that, but them skits, they did that without I I ain't even know, right? Yeah. I ain't get no signature or nothing. So, I mean, I'm just trying to put myself in different positions and different platforms to just be the man that I've grown in the beat, bro. When you saw that front, back, side to side go crazy, though, man, I mean, what was that like when you had a banger in the South and I mean, you in that thing blacking out your damn self, Smoke. Bro, I, I didn't realize what it was. All I know is that the women increased. 
the money increased, <laughs> the friends increased, and when the water boiled off, yeah. none of it was real. You know Man. what I'm saying? That's that's the time when I, you know, start, you know, getting into all that stuff, going into jail, yeah. right? And I told them, you know, even though, yeah, I believe it now, but it's the niggas from your own city or your own little that they the worst one. Yeah. And not that I want to upgrade that to 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 what you can call relatives, not family. Yeah. See? Yeah. And shout out, and while I'm in here, bro, I got a young, young nephew named Rando out of Mississippi. He got a song, Trending. Okay. His name is Certified Younger. Yeah. And y'all go check him out. He trending right now. I just want to, it's love, bro. I don't hide the light I am. I share it. Exactly. Right? 